Warriors in our phonetics, welcome back to the YouTube channel. But before getting into the video, if you haven't already done so already and you are a new viewer to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Click that red subscribe button because it shows your support for the content and videos that I do and it's much appreciated and it's absolutely free. It doesn't cost anything at all and it really does help out the channel. And also I'd like to thank those who have recently subscribed to the channel. It is much appreciated. And also don't forget to like the video as well, click the thumbs up on the video and click the bell so you are notified when I upload any Rugby League World Cup content next on the channel. You'll see previews, reviews, live watch longs, reactions all on this channel and uh, yeah and uh, also don't forget to comment your thoughts down in the comment section down below. But this is going to be my Rugby League World Cup 2022 predictions. It's branded as Rugby League World Cup 2021, obviously because uh, it was supposed to be last year, but because of COVID, we've got the tournament this year, and uh, it's still branded as 2021. But I'll go through the pools now and give my predictions who's going to top the pool, and uh, then I'm going to give my predictions on, on the games. So we'll start off with Pool A. Pool A sees England, France, Greece and, Greece, and Samoa. So for this pool, I've got England to top the pool. Samoa to finish second. I've got France to finish third and Greece to finish fourth. So we'll go through the uh, games here now. So England take on Samoa on su Sunday, October the 16th, Australia that time. And it's at St. James's Park. St. James's Park there in Newcastle. In, and uh, look, for me, uh, look, Samoa can definitely upset England. But in saying that, I think with England is that they have probably had, you know, already a couple of, of, of training sessions together and being in camp with Samoa, you know, if they've had the players, you know, play in the NRL Grand Final. So I think Samoa will take a bit of time to get going in this Rugby League World Cup. I am expecting them to do well. But I think England, look, they had that World Cup warm-up game um, a couple of days ago. They took on Fiji and, you know, yes, Fiji probably weren't, at full strength either, but look, England, they, they they look pretty promising in that game, so you, you know, normally you look, I wouldn't say you take too much out of a warm-up game, but it was, it was some good signs here for England and I know a lot of people aren't really big on England's chances at, in this World Cup, so look, I think they'll be keen to get off to a good start being the host nation, you know I think they will win this game now are they going to put a big score on Samoa? I don't think they will. I think Samoa will definitely be competitive in this one. But I think England will just, you know, get enough points on the board here. So I will go England by... I'll go England by 16 over the Samoan side. And I think they will get off to a pretty good start in this tournament. So Tuesday, October 18th, sees France versus Greece. Uh, look, for me... I am going to go with France to win this game. Uh, France by... I'll go France by 26 points over Greece at the Keep Mode Stadium. Sunday, October 23rd, sees England versus France at the University of Bolton Stadium. Uh, look, I am going to tip England to win this game. And I go England by 28 points over France. Monday, October the 24th, sees Samoa versus Greece. I'm going to go with Samoa here by 40 over Greece. Sunday, October 30th, sees England versus Greece at, at Bramall Lane. I will go with England to win by 50 points. And Monday, November the 1st, uh, Samoa versus France. I'll go Samoa by 24 now to Pool B now, so we've got Australia, Fiji, Italy and Scotland the pool. I've got Australia to top this pool and uh, fin finishing second I've got Fiji, Italy in third and Scotland in fourth. So the first game is Australia versus Fiji in this pool is on Sunday October the 16th. Uh, it's at the KCOM Stadium, so that's Super League team Hull FC's home ground there. Look, I think Australia, no doubt about it, come into this uh, tournament as the, the hot favourites and deservedly so being the defending World Cup champions. 
But in saying that, Australia do come into this World Cup, believe it or not, are ranked fourth in the Rugby League World Cup rankings, which it is a bit of a surprise and a shock, but also the fact that Australia has not played that much Rugby League you know, over the last couple of years, and uh, that's really affected their ranking. But Fiji, look, over the past Rugby League World Cups, have done pretty well making it to the semi-finals. Obviously, that, er that previous tournament, 2017, was when they knocked out New Zealand. As a New Zealand fan, disappointing. But Fiji, you know, they did pretty well to get to the semi-finals in that tournament. So, can they do it again this year? We shall wait and see. I mean, I, I'm expecting them to be, you know, one of the dark horses of the tournament. But, look, I think Australia, you know, with the depth and talent and the squad they've got, look, they really should win this game over Fiji. And over the past, when they played, you know, Fiji, they've really put on a scoreline. And I think they will, unfortunately, put it on here in this game, and I do hope Fiji do make this a competitive game, I really do, I, I would love to see Fiji cause an upset, cause a shock, but look, I don't really see it happening, I think Fiji, you know, I think they will, will make it a tough game early on, but Australia will just have that class and experience, and I think they will get it done, I'll go Australia by 28 points over Fiji to kickstart their World Cup campaign. Monday, October the 17th, we see Scotland versus Italy, and it's at Kingston Park. Uh, look, for me, look, these two teams, you know, they come into this tournament as an unknown. Now, Scotland have featured in the Rugby League World Cup a couple of times. Italy, not so much. Italy don't really have the NRL experienced players in their side. They've got the likes of Cooper Johns and that, but look, you know, it is a shame that they've got the likes of James Tedesco and that aren't turned up for Italy in this tournament. It would have been great if they had a few more experienced players. They probably could have been a bit more competitive. But, look, I don't see them being competitive in, in this game and in throughout the tournament. So, I've got Scotland to win this game. And I'll go Scotland by 30 points over Italy. I think they'll be too good. Saturday, October the 22nd, sees Australia versus Scotland. Look. Really, not much to say too much about this game. Australia Kangaroos, too good for the Scotland here. I think they will win by 48 points. It could be 50, it could be 60. I just do not see Scotland being close to the Australian side. I think they will have too much class in the end. Sunday, October the 23rd, we see Fiji taking on Italy. And I've got and this game has been played at Kingston Park. Look, I got Fiji to win this game. Fiji by 50 points over Italy. Sunday, October the 30th, we've got Fiji versus Scotland at Kingston Park. And also, I've got Fiji to win this one by... I'll go Fiji by 40, 40 points. I think Fiji will beat them by. And then we'll follow on with the last game of the pool. Um, see Australia take on Italy. Australia easily here by 40 points. Pool C, we've got Ireland, Jamaica, Lebanon, and New Zealand. So I've got New Zealand to top this pool. Lebanon to finish second. Uh, Ireland to finish third. And Jamaica to finish fourth. Uh, Monday, October 17th, sees Jamaica versus Ireland at Higginley. And uh, I've got Jamaica... To, no, no, sorry. I've got Ireland to win this game. Ireland to beat Jamaica by... You know what? I think this will be actually close. I'm going to go Ireland by 10. And that might be a shock to anyone, but Jamaica can definitely cause an upset here, but I think Ireland will, will win it. Monday, October the 17th, sees New Zealand Kiwis taking on Lebanon um, at uh, 5.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. So that'll be 4.30 for me early in the morning. I will be doing a live watch along to this game. Um, it's at the Hollywell Jones Stadium. Uh, for me... Uh, look, I will be doing an actual preview of this video, so I will go a bit more in-depth with the game with when the team lists get named that, so you'll see a bit of a preview for that game. So, look, I won't give away a prediction in this one. I, I, I will um, do a separate preview for that video, for that game, sorry. Uh, New Zealand Kiwis versus Jamaica at, Le at Higginley Stadium um, on Sunday, October the 23rd. I'll go on with the New Zealand Kiwis here by... 70 points, I think they'll be too good. Uh, Monday, October 24th, we've got Lebanon versus Ireland. 
I've gone with Lebanon here to win. And I'll go Lebanon by 18. And New Zealand Kiwis versus Ireland on October the 29th at Higginley Stadium. I've got the New Zealand Kiwis by 60 plus. And Sunday, October the 30th, I've gone Lebanon versus Jamaica. We'll go with Jamaica to cause an upset. You've heard it here first. Jamaica will cause an upset in one of these games. So, Paul D, we've got Cook Islands, Papua New Guinea, Tonga and Wales. Well, I've got Tonga to top this pool. PNG to finish second. Cook Islands to finish third. And I've got Wales to finish fourth. Wednesday, October the 19th, sees Tonga versus PNG at Totally Wicked Stadium, St. Helens home ground. Look, I reckon this will be a very close game. And I know people might say, people might be writing off PNG here, but I don't think you can write them off. Now, I'm going to go news, I'm going to go Tonga, but I'm only going to go Tonga by eight. Tonga by eight. And I think PNG, look, I think they will come very close to winning this one and causing a surprising upset, but Tonga to just do enough. Thursday, October the 20th, Wales versus Cook Islands. At uh, Lee Sports Ground. I am going to go with the Cook Islands here by 8. Tuesday, October the 25th. We've got Tonga versus Wales at the Tony Wicked, Wicked Stadium. I've got Tonga by 40. Papua New Guinea versus Cook Islands. Wednesday, October the 26th. It's Halliwell Jones Stadium. I've got the Papua New Guinea side to win this by 24 points. Tonga versus Cook Islands at the Riverside Stadium on Monday, November 1th, November the 1st. I have got Tonga to win this game by 20. And Tuesday, November the 2nd, I've got Papua New Guinea versus Wales at Keep Moat Stadium. I've got Papua New Guinea by 46 points. So those are my predictions, guys, for the uh, pool stage and the fixtures. Uh, let me know what you your tips are. What are your predictions for the Rugby League World Cup down in the comments below? Who do you reckon is going to win it? Let me know what you what, what you're picking in the uh, YouTube comment section below. And if you are a new viewer to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we are on the road to 1,400 subscribers. And um, on the road to that goal of getting to 2K subscribers. So, um, yeah, um, subscribe, like, share, do all the following, and... Uh, I will see you all in the next video.